Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will learn about page layout in Salesforce. So basically, what is page layout in Salesforce? The page layout is a part of UI customization and we can also control which field we want to show to the user and customize the visibility of fields, buttons and links. We can make fields required or read only from the page layout also. Let's see why do we need to create different page layouts. When we create the object and fields, at that time, the default page layout is automatically created. And using the default page layout, we can manage all user interfaces. Let's understand this concept by using a scenario. Let's take an example of patient registration form. As an administrator, your task is creating patient's records and there is a different departments like ENT, cardiology and neurology. So when we create a patient's record with all departments in the same form, it will be very difficult to differentiate the different user for a different departments. And even it has a different departments, we have to store all department information in a same object. And for all of the specialist, there are some information is the same and some are different. So we can create different page layout for a different departments. Let's see practically how can we create different page layout in a Salesforce. So we are on the home page. And as per our scenario, we have to create page layouts on a patient object. To navigate to the patient object, click on object manager, search for a patients. Here you can see I have created custom patient object, click on it. Then here you can see page layout option. From here, we can manage our page layouts. Before this, we will see how our default page layout looks like. For that, for that navigate to the patient record page. Click on app launcher. My patient object is present in the hospital app. Click on a hospital. Here you can see patient. Click on a patient. And here I have created one patient record. Here you can see the detail page. All the fields in the same column. Using page layout, we can manage fields and columns in a better way. We will also see that. So again navigate to the page layout, for that click on a gear icon, setup, object manager, then patient, click on a patients, page layout and here you can see we have a patient layout which is default layout. To edit this page layout you can click on a drop down arrow and here is and here you can see edit button or you can directly click on a patient layout. We can manage fields, button, quick actions, mobile and lightning actions, report charts and as you scroll down you will see the record detail page which we have seen in a patient record. Now we will arrange these fields in two columns. To arrange the fields you can drag and drop fields where you want to place it. In this way, you can arrange the page layout. Now, as we arrange this page layout, columns and a field arrangement, it will display on a record detail page. Let's quick save this. Now, we will see on a patient detail page, it has changes occurred or not. Refresh this page. In the lightning, it takes time. Meanwhile, we can check in a Salesforce Classic. Go to the Salesforce Classic. Then go to the patient object. Here you can see patients. Click on it. Click on patient name. And here you can see as we arrange the fields in the page layout that has displayed same as we. Now what do we need to create different page layout? For example, if you want this patient form is only used for the ENT disease patient and we don't want heart disease and neuro disease fields in this form. So here we cannot delete these fields because as another patients they may have heart and neuro disease. For this we will create different page layout where we can display only ENT disease field and heart and neuro disease field we will remove from page layout. First understand we only removing these fields from page layout not from the object. Now to create page layout 
go to the page layouts here you can see new option click on it and then in existing page layout you have to select the default page layout where all field is present here i am clicking on a patient layout and then here you can give another name for a different page layout here i am entering the page layout name then click on a save button now here we can remove which field we don't want to show in a ENT page layout. Go to that field and here you can see the remove button. Click on remove. As you click on it, you can see the field has removed. Now click on a save button. Now we have a two different page layout. So you may have a question when user click on a new button to create record, then which page layout will display? to enter the records so let's check till now we have created only different page layout to create a record navigate to the patient object here i am on a patient object click on a new button as we click on a new button here you will see it displayed both fields which we removed from a ent page layout now here we can say when user click on a new button that time the default page layout will display now we will see how to assign created page layout to the user close this window and again go to the page layout section now the user which logged in is a system administrator to assign this page layout to the system administrator we need to click on a page layout assignment here you can see page layout assignment click on it then click on a edit assignment then we have to select system administrator here you can see system administrator click on it again you need to go page layout to use here you can see select page layout option click on it and click on the ENT patients and then click on a save button again go to the system administrator and here you can see ENT patient page layout has been assigned to the system administrator now again try to create records go to the patient object refresh the page and then click on a new button this time also lightning part takes time again go to the salesforce classic where we can see changes go to the patient object click on a new button and here you can see that two fields that we remove from a ENT page layout is not displayed on this page layout in this way we can create different different page layout for creating the records and using this we don't need to fill unnecessary information unless it important now we have seen how to create page layouts but there is a problem when user try to create records that time only ENT patient page layout will display now if we created many page layout every time we need to assign page layout assignment to the particular user for that here we have option when any user click on a new button that time the window will pop up and there all created page layout will display in the radio button form and then if he want to create the record on a patient page layout then he has to click on a patient page layout radio button and then create option that's called a record type the record type we will see in the next video if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get regular updates